Hello everyone and welcome to Aglasm School. I am Rohit and today we are going to discuss about exercise 1.3 from NCERT book chapter number 7 integers. So let's start with the first question that is question number 6 for this video. So the question is a certain freezing process requires that room temperature be lowered from 40 degree Celsius at the rate of 5 degree Celsius every hour. What will be the room temperature after 10 hour process begins? So let's start with the solution part. So in the solution, what we have to do is we have to take initial temperature that is 40 degrees Celsius as written in the question. So now what we have to do is change in temperature per hour. We take minus 5 degree because temperature is getting lowered by every hour. So we have to find is 10 hours temperature. So change in temperature after 10 hours is minus 5 degree Celsius into 10 that is minus 50 degree Celsius. So now at the last what we have to do is final temperature of the room will be 40 degree Celsius plus minus 50 degree Celsius. So what we will get we get minus 10 degree Celsius. So the room temperature after 10 hour will be minus 10 degree Celsius. Now coming to the next question that is question number 7. So the question number 7 is in a class test containing 10 questions, 5 marks are awarded for every correct answer and minus 2 marks are awarded for every incorrect answer and 0 for question not attempted. So the first part for the same question is Mohan gets 4 correct and 6 incorrect answer. What will be the score of Mohan? So let's solve this problem by marks given for one correct answer that is 5. Now we have to multiply 5 into 4 because Mohan have 4 correct answers. So marks given for 4 correct answer that is 5 multiplied by 4 that is 20. So marks given for every wrong answer is minus 2. So marks given for wrong answer Mohan done 6 answers wrong. So minus 2 into 6 that is minus 12. So after that we have to do is we have to calculate score obtained by Mohan that is minus 12 plus marks obtained that is 20 which will give 8. So total marks scored by Mohan is 8. So now coming to the next part from the same question, question number is 7. Question is Reshma gets 5 correct answer and 5 incorrect answer. What is her score at the end? So marks given for one correct answer that is 5. So now what we have to do is we have to multiply 5 into 5 for correct answers. Marks given for 5 correct answer is 5 into 5 that will give 25. Now what we have to do is marks given for wrong answer that is minus 2. So we have to multiply minus 2 into 5 because Reshma have 5 wrong answers. So minus 2 multiply 5 that is minus 10. So at the end what we have to do is score obtained by Reshma that is minus 10 plus marks obtained that is 25 which will give you 15. So total marks scored by Reshma is 15. So now moving to the next question that is question number 8. So let's start with the question number 8. The question is a cement company earns a profit of 8 per bag of white cement sold and a loss of 5 per bag of grey cement sold. So the first part for the same question, question number 8 is the company sells 3000 bag of white cement and 5000 bag of grey cement in a month. What will be the profit or loss? So coming to the solution part for the same question, question number 8. So profit earned is denoted by positive integer and loss denoted by negative integer. So in the question it is written as profit earned by selling one bag of white cement that is rupees 8. So now what we have to do is we have to multiply these rupees into bags. So profit earned by selling 3000 bags of white cement is 8 multiply 3000 that will be 24,000. Now coming to the next step that is loss incurred by selling one bag of grey cement that will be minus 5 because it is written above loss denoted by negative integer. So loss incurred by selling 5000 bags 
of gray cement will be minus 5 multiply 5000 that will be 25000. Now what we have to do is we have to calculate profit or loss. So total profit or loss earned is equals to profit plus loss. So 24000 plus minus 25000 that will be minus 1000. So therefore a loss of rupees 1000 will be incurred by the company. So this was the solution for question number 8 part 1. Now moving to the next part that is part 2nd. So coming to the next part that is question number 8 part B. What is the number of white cement bag it must be sell to have neither profit nor loss if the number of grey bags sold is 6400. So now coming with the solution that is loss incurred by selling one bag of grey cement is rupees minus 5. Minus 5 is because loss in denoted by negative integer so it is minus 5. Now loss incurred by selling 6400 bags of grey cement that is minus 5 multiply 6400 that is minus 32,000 rupees. Let the number of bags of white cements to be sold be x. Now profit earned by selling one bag of white cement is rupees 8 as mentioned in the question. Now profit earned by selling x bags of white cement is equals to we have to take x for white cement. So now x into 8 it will be 8x. Now we have to solve this equation in the condition of no profit no loss profit earned plus loss incurred is equals to 0. Now what we have to do is 8x plus minus 32,000 is equals to 0. We have to change their place. Now 8x equals to 32,000. Now we have to find the value of x. So 32,000 divided by 8 it will be 4,000. Therefore 4,000 bags of white cement must be sold for company with no profit no loss so this was the solution for question number 8 part b now coming to the next question that is question number 9 so question number 9 is replace the blank with an integer to make the statement true so coming to the solution with part a so the part a is minus 3 multiply what to get 27 so what we have to do is we have to fill in the blanks with minus 9 so now minus 3 into minus 9 that will be 27 in positive because minus minus makes plus. Coming to the next part that is part B. So what we have to fill in this blank to get minus 35. So what we have to do is we have to fill minus 7. So it will be minus 35 because plus minus gives you minus. So coming to the next part part C. So what we have to fill in this blank to get minus 56. So what we have to multiply with minus 8 to get minus 56 is 7. So 7 multiply by minus 8 that is minus 56 because plus minus makes minus. So coming to the next part that is part D. So here what it is written is dash multiply by minus 12 that is 132. So to get 132 what we have to do is we have to fill the blank with 11 but in negative to get the answer in positive because minus minus makes plus. So these were the solution for exercise 1.3 question number 6, 7, 8 and 9. For such more NCRT videos keep watching our channel and hit the like button till then bye bye.